Hello. The traditional piano is something I think most of us are pretty familiar with. The design itself hasn't really changed over the last hundred or so years, but the piano I've got behind me is something pretty special. It's called a Yamaha Clavinova CVP, and what Yamaha have done is taken all of their knowledge and their years of experience making pianos and they've built on it with today's modern technology. It really is the best of both worlds and I've got a few things I want to show you that I think make it a fantastic instrument. Have a look at the ePianos website for the latest deals and offers on pianos and keyboards. So number one is it sounds and feels like the real thing to play. Now Yamaha themselves make traditional pianos, grand pianos as well, concert grand pianos. They're one of the world's finest makers of grand pianos and they've got all that experience and heritage to draw on when they make the keys on these pianos. So when you play this Clavinova, the keys are heavy, they're weighted, they feel just like the real thing. It's almost indistinguishable now. And as for the sound, well I'll play a little bit for you now so you can hear what it's like. So it's a really, really lovely piano sound. And on the higher end of this particular range, the keys themselves are actually made out of wood as well. So it's another touch of authenticity that for a, a pianist is a very nice thing. The keys just seem to respond a little bit better to your touch when they're made out of wood rather than plastic. Now number two is it's so easy to use. All you do is you turn it on with the on button and there you are, you can play piano straight away. As you can see from the screen behind me, there's just a big picture of a piano. It's that simple and it's ready to play. But what I can do using the touch screen is load up a different type of piano if I wanted. The one you've just heard was Yamaha's best concert grand piano, the CFX. But there's a different one here by Bosendorfer, their Imperial Grand. This is really, it's got quite a different character to it altogether. I'll play a little bit for you. very warm and rich sounding. We've also got things like upright pianos as well, totally different character. So there's quite a selection of sounds just in that piano section and it's so easy to use. Okay, the third thing I really like about this piano is it will play along with me. Rather than me trying to keep up with it, it will play along with me. Again, the operation is very, very straightforward to do. What I'm going to do here is choose the piano I want to play with. And as you've seen, I can just play piano on my own if I feel like it. But if I want a band or a group to come in and join in with me, you can do that with this piano. All you do on the top right, there's a button and it brings in a band. As you can see, there's a drummer there, there's a bass guitarist and a guitarist all ready to just join in with me. Now there's no trickery, no gimmickry here, it's very straightforward. The piano is going to detect what I'm playing and it, the band will simply join in with me. It's so much fun, really enhances the experience of playing. I'll give you a demonstration. So that's a real band joining in with me while I'm playing. A really fantastic little feature. Again, so easy to use and it enhances the whole experience. Think of traditional pianos. You sit there and it's you on your own and you play, but it's, it's pretty one dimensional actually compared to something like this. So I really like that feature, the way the piano will play along with me. 
there's also different types of music that it will join in with you for as well. That was a sort of pop and rock style, but there's many different styles, country, Latin, everything you can think of in there. Okay, the fourth thing I really like about this piano is it will teach me how to play. If you're an advanced player, or particularly if you're a beginner, there's a very, very good tutorial section in here where it will show you music on the screen and allow you to join in. Now, if you're thinking, well, okay, I'm a total beginner and I can't read music, it doesn't mean anything to me, then have a look because it does something quite different. I'm going to choose Amazing Grace as an example from the screen here. Now, what you're looking at now is sheet music appearing on the screen. And this is, I was explain this a little bit like karaoke singing, but you're playing piano instead. And watch, as you can hear, the music, the backing music has now stopped and it's waiting for you to play the melody line. And if you look just below the screen, we get a little light over the key. So if you don't read music, it doesn't really matter. You can just follow the lights down here. Watch. So think about that traditional piano experience where you're sat on your own and you're just playing note by note. This is using modern technology to give you a whole orchestral backing so you feel like you're the pianist in this big uh, orchestra. It's a really nice way to play. Now there's lots of songs in there already but you can wirelessly connect this to the internet and download almost anything you can think of to learn how to play. It's a fantastic feature, a piano that will teach you how to play. I think it's brilliant. Now the fifth thing is, it lets me be creative as well. Now, playing a traditional piano, yes you can be creative with it, but as we've talked about before, a traditional piano is quite one dimensional. There's not much you can do apart from just play piano. Now, on this CVP Clavinova, we have not just the pianos you've heard, but we have hundreds and hundreds of sounds loads of orchestral instruments, guitars, strings, you have an enormous selection to play with. Now alongside that there is a mini recording studio built in with 16 tracks. This is awesome technology and if you are a creative person, creative musician, you can use the pre-built backing tracks like you've seen before to play with a band and record it or you can build it from the ground up and say I'm going to build this instrument by instrument. Now to give you an example of a few of the different sounds here, you've heard piano already, but this is the orchestra sound. Acoustic guitar. Trumpet. Jazz flute. So that's just a small selection of the sounds. There's hundreds and hundreds of sounds on there. And if you're a creative person, you can get totally lost in the experience. There's so much you can do on there. You can use just the recording tracks on their own and building it up one by one, or you can use the sort of pre-built backings and build it up from that level if you're a songwriter. There's so much you can do. I think, again, that makes the whole experience so much more engaging than just a simple traditional piano. You can even plug a microphone in if you want to and sing along to what you're playing. Um, if you're a songwriter, it's, it has everything to record a really, really good professional quality demo. You plug your microphone in, perhaps use some of the backing tracks and the extra instruments, record, sing over the top and record that, take the song off of the piano with a USB stick, you can then put it on a computer, put it onto a CD, whatever you like. So in summary, I don't think I could categorise this as just a piano, that seems too narrow a uh, description. It's, it's really more like a complete musical interface, whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, there's so much you can do on here. 
If you want to use it just as a piano, you can. It's very easy to do, as I've demonstrated, but why stop there when there's so much more you can do as well. Thanks very much for watching. Do get in touch if you want to. If you have any questions, you can either comment below or you can send us an email or even give us a ring. If there's anything else that you want to see, a particular feature you'd like to see demonstrated, then just send us a message. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.